Hello everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome back to Educating Adventures. If I make the sound buzz, 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 I have a feeling that most of us are probably picturing the same animal, a small, fuzzy, yellow and black bee buzzing around our ears. Most everyone would picture a bee when they hear that sound because, well, bees live on almost every continent. Today, we're gonna see what else we can learn about bees. Let's get started. Buzzing bees are some of the most iconic sounds of summer. There are more than 20,000 different species of bees and they're found on every continent except for one, Antarctica. Bees live in so many different types of habitats, everywhere from rainforests to grasslands to deserts. We even find some bees in the tundra where it's freezing cold. Bees are insects and they're very closely related to wasps and ants. With more than 20,000 different species of bees, there are quite a few differences among them, but there are some things that bees all have in common. Like we said before, bees are insects, and all insects have three body segments, six legs, and two antennae on their head. And those antennae are very important. Insects, like bees, use them to feel around in their environment, but they also use them to detect chemicals, which is just a really fancy way of saying they use their antennae to smell or taste. That's not the only way that bees sense the world around them. Bees have compound eyes. Unlike our simple eyes, which just kind of take one picture, compound eyes, it's like they're taking thousands of tiny images and then putting them together in the tiny bee brain to figure out what's going on around them. Usually when we picture bees, we usually picture them being kind of fuzzy as well. Their bodies are covered in these structures that kind of look like hairs, but they're called setae. And the setae are really important for bees to sense vibrations around them, to feel movement. While bees do have a lot of stuff in common with one another, there are quite a few things that make species of bees different from one another. Remember, we said there's 20,000 different species that leaves a lot of room for differences. Usually when we picture bees, we picture them being that yellow black color like we mentioned before. But bees can come in all sorts of colors. Some of them can be all black. Some of them can be kind of a reddish color. Some can be kind of a greenish color. And some are even kind of blue. Their colors can be different from one another, but their size can also be different. The smallest types of bees are 0.1 of an inch. That would be a bee that is smaller than the eraser on the back of a pencil. Tiny. The largest bees, on the other hand, can be well over an inch, so quite a big difference there. The shape of their bodies can also be different. Some bees have kind of a long, narrow body, while other bees, like a carpenter bee, are a bit rounder. When I picture bees, I typically picture them flying around, and I sometimes picture them in really large groups. But not every bee has wings. There are some bees that cannot fly, and in fact, most bees don't live in social groups. More than 80% of bee species are solitary, which means they live alone. When I picture bees that are social, like a honeybee that lives in a really big colony, each bee in that group has a really particular job. Their relationships are really complex. There's one queen who's kind of in charge and she's the only female in the group that breeds and produces eggs. 
For bees that are solitary, the ones that live alone, they're usually not making a hive or anything like that. They're usually using a little hole in the ground, a little hole drilled into the side of a piece of wood, and that's where they're producing their eggs. Whenever I talk to people about bees, I usually get kind of a mixed response. Some people love bees and they think they're so cute, but a lot of people get kind of nervous around bees. And that's because a lot of bees have stingers. And that can be a little bit intimidating. Bees use their stingers to defend themselves, but something kind of interesting about bees and their stingers, it's typically only the females that have stingers. And that's for one very important reason. While a stinger is used for a bee to defend themselves, it is also used as an ovipositor, which is a really fancy way of saying it's what they use to lay their eggs. Since only female bees are producing eggs, they're the only ones who need an ovipositor. They're the only ones who have a stinger. While maybe not everybody wants to have bees around all the time, they are a really helpful animal to have in your area because bees are pollinators. Most bees are feeding on nectar, which is like a sweet sugar water made by flowers, and pollen, which is also produced by flowers. As bees move from flower to flower looking for food, the setae, those little hairs that they have on their back, do a great job of collecting loose pollen. And as they move between flowers, they collect more, they drop some off, and that pollinates the flowers. That's really important because many plants rely on pollinators like bees to do something really important. Pollination is what allows them to produce seeds and make fruit. So without pollinators like bees, we'd have a bit of a problem on our hands because plants would have a much more challenging time reproducing, making seeds, and allowing new plants to grow. So even if maybe bees aren't your favorite animal, we do want to encourage them to have a healthy population and you can help support bees by planting native plants in your area. Native wild flowers, any flowering plant that you can find that belongs in your area is a great food source for bees. All right, you guys, that is all the bee facts for I have us today. If you'd like to test your bee knowledge, be sure to click that link below. Visit our Educating Adventures website to explore quizzes, activities, projects, and so much more. And I can't wait to see you guys at our next Educating Adventure. Goodbye.